Hi everybody, Annie here. I hope you guys are all doing well. Thanks for coming back to see what I have been up to and this is the video where I get to show you the puppy. I'm not gonna make you wait till the end. I'll show you it and then I will talk about it. The white, I'm sorry, is just making it go crazy because of the camera, but the white is Burnett Blanket and the brown is also Burnett Blanket in the color taupe. And then the nose is pink. It is, let's see, you can see his face a little bit better over here, or her face actually. <laughs> you can see her face a little bit better over here. The nose is Michael's chenille yarn. I think it's probably blush. I'm not really sure. It was um, just a little ball of it that I had left. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love this. I was commissioned to make a dog, to make a puppy, that looked like the um, person's dog. And I'm not a dog person, so I cannot tell you the breed or anything like that, I have no idea. But the main thing is, is that her dog has a heart on the side. Like, like her dog has a heart on the side. It's, she's so cute. So um, anyways, this is how it turned out. I had pictures of the dog and I did the best I could to get the colors. Where they should be and just oh my goodness it's so cute it's so cuddly too if this was not a commission i would totally keep this <laughs> even though i'm like really not a, that much of a dog person i mean i like dogs but i'm more of a cat person <sighs> look at this oh okay so now i'll talk about like how i did it the eyes are I think they're 20 millimeter eyes safety eyes which I reinforce with hot glue I did do a little bit of face shaping and then you have to sew the ears and the tail on but really the ears went on so easy so the tail the head I'll talk about that in a few minutes but yeah I love the body shaping I just I just love the body shaping for this pattern so this is the cute cute puppy that I need to send I need to send off to her home oh my gosh look at the heart I just freehanded it I freehanded all of the markings on the puppy um, I have brown around the nose because the real dog has got like brown and pink nose <laughs> so cute oh my goodness it's just this is maybe the cutest thing I've made I mean it's like definitely top three I think like definitely so it's so cute let me talk about the pattern and the little story that went along with finally getting the puppy right the pattern that I use is this one it's by Tim magic ring I purchased this pattern on Etsy it was 575 which is like well okay but it was the perfect shape because the person who commissioned the puppy wanted um, it to be something like a loaf cat like up there <laughs> let me let me grab one so they wanted it something like a loaf cat, only in dog form, and it just it would, wouldn't work, especially because the face is so flat. And I mean, yeah, I could have done the ears and then the tail would have, I don't know, and the feet are just bobble stitches. So, well, this pattern, if you're interested, this is by Fault Bubbles here on YouTube, and I will link that cat loaf pattern down below. So this is what I had in my mind, and it takes me a while to like, not like a while, it takes me a couple of days when someone wants something to like think about it and think okay I'm gonna do this what I'm gonna do so I was looking on Etsy and I checked YouTube also for dog patterns and the only one that I fell in love with was this one it's the right size it's the right shape this is called little potato and there's a lot this is like maybe 10 pages long it's it's like a I'd say intermediate pattern um, but there are video links to help you with how to do the paws, how to do the ears and stuff. And the only thing, like I didn't need to look at any of the videos when I was making the puppy because I've been doing Amis for a while, but the head, to get the head on, and there's not a video on how to put the head on. That's the only thing I wish this pattern had. But otherwise, it's a really good pattern. And of course you can make it to be any kind of dog you want. It, the person used, I think, some kind of a chenille yarn. Let me see. Yes, the person used this chenille yarn. Obviously, I didn't. I used blanket yarn. And when I used the blanket yarn, I did a K-hook, which is um, a 6.5 
millimeter. Let me check my notes. I write all over patterns. I like to print them out and I write all over them. Yeah, a uh, 6.5 millimeter hook is what I used for that. And, oh my goodness. So, but that wasn't the first one I made. That was the third time I made this pattern. This is the first one that I made from that pattern. Now I had this big floppy skein of yarn, some kind of acrylic, I don't remember what it is or what it was, I guess it's, it's used, but, um, and I just really wanted to use up that skein and because this commission was gonna be so special because a dog has a heart on the fur, I didn't wanna make the pattern right away in the Bernat blanket because that yarn is, you know, expensive. So I used what I had just to see how the pattern worked up. And I love the shaping on the body and the shaping on the head. So I had the head done and the body done. The eyes, um, I don't recall. They might be an 18 millimeter. And then this is a brown safety nose or a black safety nose right there. So I made this and I wasn't quite sure because Briella said, you know, I needed another color with it. And I agreed because otherwise it was just really tan and kind of plain. So we <laughs> played rock, paper, scissors to see if we would do white accents or dark brown and white one, but I'm not feeling the white. <laughs> and I got like, it, so I, this was the first one I made. And then, so I kind of figured out how to get the head attached. And I did tack the head to the front paws just to give it some stability there. I did not face shape this one. No, I didn't. <laughs> I did not give this one any face shaping. So that just was how the pattern worked up. I used a G hook. I used a four millimeter hook for this one, but I really wasn't feeling the cuteness of this. Once I put the head on with the ears and this tail does not look like a tail. Like I, I really, I don't like this tail. I think it's overstuffed and yeah, that's going away. But I got frustrated and I was looking at the puppy and I took it and I just was like, oh, <laughs> not really like hard or anything, but just like, oh, it didn't look, it doesn't look right. And then the ears were back like that. And I'm like, this would make a really cute bunny. So I had that in my head and I couldn't get it out of my head. I made a bunny. But first I made different ears and a tail for this one. I'm taking off these ears and I am taking off this tail. Let me show you the ears and tail. So this is Bernat Super Value in Walnut. This is a tail. This and these are two ears. Kind of hard to see. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these ears off and then he's go it's gonna have brown ears, which I think will look so much better. And it's going to have a different kind of tail. I freehanded this tail. This is not the pattern um, tail. So coming up soon, I will show you the makeover. <laughs> it's gonna get some plastic surgery or whatever. So once I made the first dog, pulled the ears back and I'm like, oh my goodness, it looks like a bunny. I need to make a bunny. I couldn't get it out of my head until I made the bunny. <laughs> this is the bunny that I made. The same body pattern and the same head shaping, whoops, the same head pattern. The ears, I freehanded those ears. Um, I did write down the pattern for those, so I have the pattern for these ears. But this is a bunny, oh my gosh, it's so cute. And the tail is a poof ball that I hot glued on. Um, the eyes are a little bit smaller than the puppy one that I made. And this is a piece of black cotton. I did do face shaping for the bunny and this is that chenille light pink yarn for the nose. It's so cute. Here they are side by side. This this one also has that piece of black by the eye that kind of gives it a, an eyelash and eyelid, which I just think is adorable. So I got a bunny and I got a puppy that's gonna get a makeover. Since I made the, the puppy and the bunny, I just had this much left over of a huge floppy skein. So this will go in a scrap blanket. And I'm, I'm just really happy with it when I'm just in love with this girl. So yeah, um, I started with a brand new skein of both colors in brown and white. I'm guesstimating that I used about half of the brown skein and then this is how much white that I have left. Um, they're both Bernat's blanket yarns. The white is... <laughs> like softer I don't know it's more chenille but it's Bernat blanket because I have the ball band so this is the puppy not sure how long it is let me let me go measure how long this is 
from the tip of the nose to the tip of the tail it's about 26 inches long um it's kind of heavy let me weigh it let's see how much it weighs it weighs one pound 13 ounces thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed seeing this cute little puppy which i get to send off i will be seeing you guys soon bye everybody